Hi there and welcome to the channel. My name's Shane. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing to work on our 990 David Brown here and address some of the leakage uh, points that we have underneath these things that are called inspection plates. It's kind of dirty up under here and we're going to be taking a look at fixing those today. Also playing around with a new camera. Let me know how you like it. See if there's any big differences, if I need to make any adjustments or anything like that. Let's clean this thing off. I have not pressure washed this tractor yet. I wanted to kind of get this cleaned off first. <clears throat> so what is behind door number one here? I would assume some sort of a gasket or sealing material would be used which is probably leaking. Maybe this thing wouldn't tighten back up all the way when I had the engine rebuilt. I don't know. All I know is it was leaking down at the bottom of the plate a little bit, I think. So, ooh, that just comes right off apparently. Does that bolt come out? Yep. So there's the plate behind it. It's kind of dirty. I have not been in here before. I don't know what to expect. I guess you can use this as an inspection port. I mean, that's what these are called on the parts list is inspection plates, I think. All right, this is not a paper gasket. It is more of a rubber gasket. That's interesting. That is rubber. It's pretty firmly in, it's on there. I can't really move that. And I'm not really going to try either at this point. I need to do some investigation and see if I actually need to replace this. Maybe I, I'm, I'm just gonna try for a little while, I guess, just to bolt these back up and see if it was just dirt inside or just not tightened up properly. But this gasket looks good. I think, of course, you guys tell me. Down in the comments below, comment if something needs to be changed here. What do you think? Those of you that have rebuilt David Brown 990 engines before or been in here, what does this look like to you? Should I, look how thick that gasket is right there for this ceiling stuff. And it's almost glued to the block. I'm not going to try to get it out of there until one of you guys down in the comments section lets me know what I should do here or if I should just leave it alone. I don't know what to do here. Maybe it just wasn't tight enough. I don't know. We'll find out. Comment below what you think. Yeah, I do need to, I do need to clean that out some. It does have some dirt and that kind of thing around the edges. Maybe that's where the, maybe that's where it was leaking. trash definitely needs to be cleaned up this sealing material seems to be in the same condition as the other one okay that sealing material is also seems to be like glued to the block it is a rubbery type fibrous maybe material but it is hard all right, so folks, are these supposed to be pliable? Are they supposed to be, they're hard. I can't get it off the block without, you know, trying to damage it. And I don't want to damage it right now because I don't know what I should do. I'm asking you guys about that. It's not really pliable. Should it be? Should it be stuck to the block the way it is? Let me know down in the comments, please.
side by side. Door number one, door number two. All right, ceiling surfaces have been cleaned up, I think, as well as I'm gonna get them. Door number one, door number two. Let's go get these things reinstalled. <laughs> Again, this is a new camera I'm using, DJI Pocket 3. Let me know in the comments below what you think. go. All right, I'm done with this one. I just wanted to show really what the behind the inspection plates looked like. I wanted to see what kind of ceiling material was behind these plates and to really ask you guys what I should do about the ceiling material here, the gasket. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and leave your comments below, please.